Hi everyone, today I want to show you another free add-on and this add-on is called Drop It and it can be used to drop objects to the floor or onto the surfaces of other objects. You will find a link to the add-on in the video description. Once you've installed it, you can access it in object mode. You have to select an object and then right click and here at the bottom you have the Drop It option. The default shortcut assigned to this add-on is V. If there is no geometry below the object, the object will be dropped onto the floor. If the object is below the blender floor and there is no geometry below the object, it will also be dropped onto the floor. When you use the add-on, you will get this operator panel here with a couple of settings you can change. By default, the objects will be dropped based on the lowest vertex. You can change that to origin if you want to. And in this case, the origin will be dropped to the ground or onto the surface of another object. If you have geometry below the object, the object will be dropped onto the surface of the object. And here I have this slanted surface and also I have the align to surface option checked in the add-on here. So in this case, the object will also be oriented to the surface of that object. Let me switch that back to lowest vertex. If I switch align to surface off, the nearest vertex will be dropped to the surface of that object, but the orientation of the object won't change. Of course, you can drop more than one object at the same time. So here I have a couple of cubes and I've already selected them. If I use the add-on, all of these will be dropped and aligned to the surface. However, as you can see, one of these cubes is dropped onto the top of the cube below it. If you have overlapping geometry, that's what's going to happen. So sometimes that is what you want. You have an option here that says collision in selection. Maybe that's supposed to prevent that from happening, but no matter if I have this checked or unchecked, the result is always the same. So if you don't want that, you'll just have to move that over and use the add-on again to drop this object onto the surface here as well. So let me just move this over and I'm going to select all three of these cubes again and drop them to that surface. The add-on also provides some randomization options regarding rotation and location. So you can use those to further randomize the position and orientation of the objects, but you can get overlapping geometry again. So you would have to move this object and drop it again to the floor in this case, that doesn't seem to work. Ah, now it's working, okay. You can always right click on any of these settings and reset them to the default. I'm going to do that here. Well, actually, let me just go back a few steps and select all of these again, drop them. You also have an offset Z location option here. And with this option, you can offset the objects from the surface. And in this case, all of the objects will be moved by the same amount. So this is not an option that you can use to randomize the Z location of the selected objects. As you can see, we also have some parenting settings here, and these will only apply if you have objects that are parented to each other. Let me just switch this off and switch my next example on here. Also going to switch this off. So here I have another bunch of cubes and all of these are parented to this cube down here. So let's go ahead and select those. I'm also going to switch on my second ground object here. So with these objects selected, let's hit the V key. And sometimes nothing happens. That might be a bug. I'm just going to revert to my original file here. So let me switch that off. We need to switch these on going to grab these all, switch my plane back on here. So let's try that again. So now it's working and you can see all of these are dropped, but the result is not really as expected. So because these are parented objects, we can use the parenting settings here. And if you unfold that, you have two options. One is to affect only the parents, in which case only the parent will be dropped and in this case aligned to the surface and the other objects will stay where they are. However, they will be oriented relative to the orientation of the parent object. 
If I want to choose the other option, I have to switch the first one off first. And if I check Effect Selected Children, you can see now we're getting the result that we want. And all of the children are also dropped to the surface and aligned to the surface of the object below them. What you can also do is only select one of the children and drop that to the surface. And the reason this is working is because I have Effect selected children switched on. If I switch it off, nothing will happen. So that's one thing to be aware of. If you want to only drop a child, you have to use the effect selected children option here to make that happen. So as you can see, this add-on is really simple to use and it's also very useful. I suggest that you go ahead and grab it. In my opinion, it's even better than the commercial add-ons that do the same thing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Take care and I'll catch you again soon.